If I played a piece of music on either this digital keyboard or on this real grand piano, do you think you could tell the difference? Hmm. So here's how we're going to do this. I'm going to play three short musical excerpts on either this instrument or this one, but I'm not going to tell you which one that I picked. So take a listen and see what you think, and I'll see you back here in a minute and 46 seconds. So what'd you think? Well, I'm not going to keep you in any suspense. It was the digital keyboard. So, you know, I was in a certain large music retail store not too long ago, and I was listening to a salesman tell a customer that this Yamaha P45 digital piano is indistinguishable from the real thing. Okay, well, I'm trying to be with you here. Uh, but, you know, I got to wondering because not long after that, I had the opportunity to buy one of these from a friend of mine, and I thought, well, well, is there really a difference? If I play it on one or the other, to the person in the audience, can you actually hear the difference? Now, the player can feel the difference because the action is different. So when you're playing a digital piano, what happens is because of the shape of your hand, sometimes you wind up touching the keys at the ends of the keys, but because these three fingers are so much further in, when you play a chord like this, you wind up touching the back of the keys, and because it's a piece of plastic on a spring, the amount of effort changes depending on where you are on the key. Now on a real piano, that's not the case. The, the amount of pressure is about the same. And so you wind up working a little bit harder. This is the kind of thing that the player notices, and maybe not necessarily the person in the audience. So these uh, P45s list for around $499. You can usually get a small discount off of these if you shop around. This Yamaha C6, uh, I gotta tell you, I don't know why these things have skyrocketed in price so much. I looked it up just before making this video. It's actually more than $50,000 now. It's closer to $56,000. Um, again, I don't know why the price has gone up. I got this one about 20 years ago. I didn't pay nearly that much. I feel sorry for people who have to buy one of these today. But um, now that you know which piano it is, let's go ahead and play the same musical excerpt on first the digital and then on the acoustic piano. We're going to go ahead and pick the Brahms Intermezzo. That is the first and the shortest of the musical excerpts you heard. And again, I'll see you back here in about 30 seconds.
Big difference, right? You can tell that this has a bigger, richer, fuller sound than this instrument. And you know what's interesting? Before I made this video, I sent a couple of those clips out made by this instrument to some friends of mine, and I asked them to try to guess if that was a real piano or a digital piano. And the results were interesting. Among people who played instruments, and especially stringed instruments, and I'm actually counting singers in this group, they all knew that this was not a real piano. Among the people who did not play an instrument, it was closer to 50-50. I have some theories about that, and one of them is if you do own a real piano or any stringed instrument, you know it is a constant battle to keep the thing in tune. I could have this thing tuned tomorrow, actually this could use a tuning, and by tomorrow afternoon or the morning afterwards, it'll, be, it'll start to go out of tune already. So it's a constant battle. This thing is always in tune. And in fact, the sound may be a little too perfect. I had one friend say that it has a medicine-y sound to it. It's so in tune and it's so perfect. So there you have it. If you're interested, leave me a comment. Uh, I'm interested to hear your comments and I have some more ideas for more videos. Until then, thank you for listening. This is Cool Stuff and I'm Ed Ting.